Uh, physicians, uh, gastroenterologists specifically, and all physicians have a lot of different reporting requirements around quality measures. Uh, the people within my work group develop measures, maintain those measures, and test the measures for implementation in national programs. Uh, the measures are specified first. We start with denominators and numerators and look at exceptions and exclusions that are relevant to those measures and drill down into the details that you mentioned around coding and determine specifically what codes relate to the measure the way that we want it to be calculated so that it's actually meaningful in providing better care. Well, the Digestive Health Recognition Program has three modules, one for hepatitis C care, one for IBD care, and one for colorectal cancer screening and surveillance. So the physicians and other providers who participate in the DHRP are, when they enroll in the program, they, they are fed various screens to import the data. And so basically they walk through step in a stepwise process to be asked about the care that they provided so that they can provide the various data points that, that are in, used to calculate. So we're really pretty much on the same playing field when it comes to you know, participating through inputting data. There are pick lists that are associated with each of the codes that are for each of the data points. So it, as a new person coming in, even if they're you know, fairly naive computer users or they don't have a lot of experience there, it's not like every code is available. There are particular codes that, are cho that they would choose from in order to, um, to document the care that they provided for that particular patient. Each case that is, is submitted for the, the DHRP has the same data elements associated, associated with each of the patients. So when the information is fed back to the physician to see how she's doing in relation to a particular measure, each of the patients are equal in terms of the, the data that is provided to them related to the patient. So it makes the, the information comparable and then the physician can compare her practice with the practice of other physicians in her practice and beyond and we can uh, parse the information so that they can see how their performance relates to others within a state or any other sort of area. The burden of data collection and reporting is quite large for physicians in all areas of practice and many of those measures are basically documenting the process of care and I think what physicians are wanting now is to see that the the data collection burden yields something that is of added information to them to help them take better care of their patients. So as we develop the DHRP, we're looking toward outcomes measures, including information that patients report in, in relation to the care that they're providing so that it's, there's actual you know, more benefit both to the, the provider as well as to the patient. Personally, I believe that physicians are providing good care and their intentions are as they've always been. I think the data collection burden at this point is pretty heavy for most physicians and basically what I hear physicians asking is that when they participate in a quality improvement program or in a data collection program or a quality reporting program, that they want some benefit from that so that they can document for themselves and be able to use the, that information to help them in providing the care that you're talking about that is now often you know, burdened with other requirements. I think it's going to take some number of years. Different people have approached the implementation of electronic health, health records in their practices at, at, at different speeds. Uh, some people decide they want to do this overnight and they're going to make it happen and many resources are put toward being able to do that from the front end. Others have been able to turn on various functions within EHR so that they're doing it on in an incremental basis, getting a little more experience. So it really is more the size of the practice, the sophistication of the people in the practice who support the physician. And then those decisions sort of drive how quickly people approach um, the implementation of EHRs and other supporting systems. Like we hear many physicians not only have an EHR, but they work with two or three different EHRs if they do hospital-based practice and ambulatory practice. So there, it's really a hard question to answer with a, a simple answer because there's so many ways that that's happening across the country. Sure.